Titus 2 Tito chapter 2 This is our scripture in Charis. Kitaiki scripture sarina mo Charis. Titus 2 Tito chapter 2 Read from 7 Revelation to 13. O thoma go 7 rifithe mola go 13. It says and in all things show yourselves to be an example of good works with purity in doctrine having the strictest regard for integrity and truth dignified sound and beyond reproach in instruction so that the opponent of the faith will be shamed having nothing bad to say about you age bond servants to be subject to their own masters in everything to be pleasing and not talk about not stealing things regardless of value but proving themselves trustworthy so that in everything respect they will adorn and do credit to the teaching of God our savior for the remarkable undeserved grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men it teaches us to reject ungodliness and worldly immoral desires and to live sensible upright and godly lives with a purpose that reflects spiritual maturity in this present age awaiting and confidently expecting the fulfillment of our blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great god and savior christ jesus let's pray thank you lord for this word in jesus name amen amen uh, right integrity are walling integrity tumpo integrity tumpo we say what you are saying is respect but integrity it have got some qualities integrity into nang le me khwaitse there are qualities of integrity one of them is, one of them is respect e nngwe ya tsona ke tlompo so today we'll be talking about integrity mm kere kere reaching a level where no one can be able to blame you in truth reaching a level no one will be able to find fault most namuta katolang poso kante ha wena when you live a life of integrity ha u phila bophilo ba u ba le maitshwaro you will be searched o tlonya ka nyakiwa wa nyakisiswa you will face opposition wa kopana ha pele o hanetswa but still you are the one to overcome mara ho le u le jwalo ke wena ya afenya ma felelong so let me try to tell you five qualities that make integrity the first one is what mama was saying respect number 2 responsibility the person who is responsible knows the damage he knows what he's supposed to do he does not need anybody ha toki mutu o mongwe re a mo thalosetse number 3 keeping promises o ema mo ditshepisong whatever you say that's what you do if you make a promise you how would you let's a piece we are petagaja 
Integrity tells you keep your promise. Number four. Helping others. That's integrity. Because integrity. Another name of integrity is honesty. You're honest. You look deep inside. And check if it was me. There. If this person is crying. If you are I look aside. If it was me there. The fifth one is generating trust. You need to reach a level where you can be trusted without trying to get something. You need to be Trust. Generate trust. In other words, you don't look at what you believe. You look at what is coming. I found that a person who's having integrity. He built it up. Because he knows the one he worships. The moment when you know the one one you worship, when he says something that he will do, he does it. Or he will do it. Automatically, you won't be bothered by the situation at the present. We are lacking integrity because we don't know the importance of integrity. So today, I want to teach you that integrity is the highest level of living a Christian life. And that kind of life, it takes you to where the Spirit of God is. Because there will be no error. No mistake that you can commit. So now here, the Bible talks about people. We are living among people. That a person who is building up integrity will live to shame opposers. Remember that they are searching for something. They want to lay them down. And now they won't find anything. God doesn't want people to find anything wrong again. I don't know if you're hearing so that. Integrity makes people who are opposers. Who who don't serve your God. They don't they don't your God. When they are accused, they don't succeed. When they fight you, they don't win. win. That's how you overcome by integrity. You overcome by integrity. You overcome by integrity. So the Bible says, I just want to read where Mama was reading. Especially here it says, show yourself to be an example of good works with purity and doctrine. 
Having the strictest regard for integrity. Show yourself that integrity has been placed in your hands. Show it. People must see it, it on you. When they are still saying it's over with you, you say, I can be faithful or small. I can rather trust God or nothing. That to find the wrong way to get it. That's integrity for you. And it says, but providing themselves trustworthy, so that in every respect they will adorn and credit to the teaching of God and so Why? Because the grace of God has Listen to this. When, when you have integrity, it's because you know the grace of God has appeared. That grace of God teaches you to say no to the And is not opportunity. Things which are wrong, you will say no to them. When you have got integrity, when opportunity presents itself for you to do wrong, because the grace of God has appeared to you, and you know that grace, you will say no. What makes me today that you won't find any fault of accusing me is because of that. I have found the grace. I found the grace of this God. When, when, when you start to understand the grace that has come to you, to you when Satan brings opportunities, you will say no. And this puts you to a safe side where you establish your integrity. This is what I want to teach you today. Opportunities will present themselves. Opportunities which are wrong, even which are right. But because you know there is something on top of your head that has appeared to you. God has revealed himself to you. So he cannot be taken away right. You cannot be robbed to where you are going. The grace tells you that you are going somewhere. It is the grace that tells you that your life is not finished where you are. You are going somewhere. You are going somewhere. Satan presents something that makes you to stop. So that you wonder. Because of the grace that is going to take you, you tell yourself, no, I don't want this. No, I don't want this. I can see all things but they are not my portion because I know the grace of God. God. And this makes me establish my lifestyle of what we are preaching about here, which is honesty. Today we need, we need to check ourselves. If you are hearing me say Let me show you from scripture. Integrity is important. Integrity is important. Can we just read 1 Samuel 2? If you read from verse 1 to 5, 
you will listen to the integrity of this man. Why Samuel was a renowned prophet? Why Samuel and Elim prophet of the seventh chapter? First Samuel twelve. Yes. From verse one. One. Samuel what village chapter twelve from verse one to five. Verse two five. Then Samuel said to all Israel. Behold, I have listened to your voice in everything that you have said to me, and I have appointed a king over you. Yes. And now, here is the king walking before you. As for me, I am old and gray, and here are my sons with you. I have walked before you from my childhood to this day. Here I am testify against here I am testifying against me before the Lord and Saul is anointed. Let me read that verse. Here I am testifying against me before the Lord. Here I am. Can you now testify against me. Pakang khatanong linna. Read me. Before me, before the Lord and Saul, his anointed. If I have done something wrong, whom, whose ox have I taken, or whose donkey have I taken, or whom have I exploited, whom have, have I oppressed, or from whose hand have I taken a bribe to blind my eyes? To the truth, tell me, and I will restore it to you. They said, "You have not exploited us, or oppressed us, or taken anything at all from a man's hand." Are you hearing that verse? Amen. This is integrity. Yeah, na na na, go over. Samuel was not just a prophet. Samuel and his simple prophet affair. By seeing visions. He was checking his life. He knew he was before the Lord. He said, This is the time now. Look at me. I'm old. And my children are before me. Have you ever reached a level whereby you can say to the whole family the same words that Samuel spoke here? You will hear many things. Samuel was so grounded Samuel that he looked at the whole Israel. And say, is there anybody I exploited? Is there anybody that I took his donkey? Is there anybody that I have taken his donkey in a wrong way? If you are around, I want to take it back. Have you ever reached that kind of thing? Knowing your life, that you know no one can accuse you. This is the time that we need to check our life. Is there anyone that I insulted? Is there anyone that I brought? Is there anyone? If you are around, let me fix it now. That's what Samuel was saying. He was looking at himself. And he knew he was old. And he understood that his time was short. Fixing his life before God was important. Not what the Israelites say. No one here. We have never done that. We have never done that to us. Let me just read verse 4. They said you have not exploited us. Or oppressed us. 
or taken anything at all from a man's hand. No, taking anything at all from men's hand. Over what Jan Dong will it's a long lament for more. Okay, carry on reading, Mama. Verse 5. It says, Samuel said to them, The Lord is a witness against you. And Saul, his anointed, is a witness this day that you have not found anything in my hand. And they answered, he is a witness. Now, here we can see that Shotakiti teaches us to live an honest life without affecting others negatively. It teaches you not to affect others negatively. You can't rob. You can't lie. You can't fight. There are things you won't do. Because remember, you know the grace of God has appeared before you. And you know that if you don't have something now, you are still going to have it in the future. So there is nothing to cut. There is nothing to fight and take something from someone's head. There's nothing to rob anyone. I pray that today you, are, you accept yourself. That is the integrity for you. It teaches you to accept yourself. Accept yourself. Accept your trouble. Accept what you are facing. Because the grace of God, when it appears, it will change the situation that people know. I, I see God. I see God. Is about to change your situation. You can look like it's over with you, but the time of God has come. You can look like you are defeated, but God is about to open a door for you. So don't be afraid when you are because of what you are facing. Just hold your integrity. Hold your integrity. The Lord is opening a door for you. And when you are hearing me say, Amen. If you are hearing me say, Amen. In fact, I want us to read the scriptures. Go home and check yourself. You go home you check yourself. Because you know, I was, I was inside the, the house. And I realized that we take things for granted. So my sleep was finished. I was sitting there. So I was sitting there. I, I wanted to read the scriptures. But something was not good. My, there were thoughts running in my mind. And I said, this is not me. I don't think about people. Why are you thinking about people? Because that, that is integrity for you. It makes you to be honest with yourself. You judge yourself before other people judge you. And if you don't judge yourself, soon you will take wrong actions, wrong thoughts, and you practice them. And now you will be exposed. So before you are exposed, you have the opportunity to correct. I don't know if you are hearing it. Before you are exposed, you have got an opportunity to correct. When I was sitting there, I said, no, why I'm thinking about this person and I'm not happy about the person who, this is not me. I stood up, I lived the Bible, I began to walk around there. I said, no, even when I'm praying here, I opened the door, I went outside to pray. I opened the door, I went outside to pray. Outside to pray. When I was praying, in fact, I began to hear, oh, 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 why owl in my house? Why I says, I won't shout and scream. I I will pray pray until until this owl goes away. Well, I was 
was just telling myself that. Like, I, was you know, saying, I was just saying, oh, this is the owl. Like, sorry, mm, that has brought religion. people here in le my mind. Le and why? Le this me is me. not normal. Why? Let me pray. When, when I was praying, I that owl I left. When the owl began to left there, I began to hear Holy Spirit speak. I said there was something wrong outside here. It affected my thoughts. But I didn't know. I said, I can't concentrate. My going outside, I said, I can't concentrate. My going outside, I said, I can't concentrate. My going outside, I said, I can't concentrate. To clean inside. This is the time that you, you go out outside. So that you be able to clean inside. Clean your connection outside. So that you reason better inside. I don't know if you are hearing me. It's time now to go out outside. Clean your connection outside. Tell them to fix your connection outside. Fix what is happening outside. When you come inside, you will have peace. We need such kind of Christians who check their integrity. Integrity, if I say it, and maybe you are fornicating, I begin to feel the spirit of fornication. So what I'm going to do is to fix you outside. I don't know if you are hearing me. So that that spirit must not enter in my mind. I don't know if you are hearing me. My actions can be determined by the people that are around us. So our integrity when is the best outside. The results inside are the best. It is suitable for God to direct. It is suitable for God to guide us. If you are a Messiah, this man Samuel, he didn't have the power to change the world. He didn't have the power to change the world. He didn't have the power to change the world. He didn't have the power to change the world. He didn't have the power to change the world. He didn't have the power to change the world. He didn't have the power to change the world. He didn't have the power to change the world. He didn't have the power to change the world. Is there anybody that have asked money here? Is there anybody that I took money robbing? We need things like that. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Check yourself before you are exposed. Look at this man called Daniel 6. Daniel 6 there. This man called Daniel 6. Daniel chapter 6. Daniel chapter 6. If you read from verse 1 there. Let's read from verse 2. Daniel chapter 6. Read from, from verse 2. Look at the integrity of this man. Read mama. Verse 2. Read from verse 2. Uh -huh. And over them three chief commissioners of whom Daniel was one that these satraps might be accountable to them so that the king would have no loss from this loyalty or mismanagement yes. then this Daniel because of the extraordinary spirit within him did you hear that? Eh? am I in? okay carry on began distinguishing himself among the commissioners he and the subjects. He distinguished himself. That was integrity. He checked mm, himself and, and put himself and set a standard. Carry on reading. He the commissioners and satraps. And the king planned to appoint him over the entire realm. Mm. Then the other two commissioners and the satraps began, began trying to find a reason to bring a complaint against Daniel concerning the administration of the kingdom. But they could find no reason for that? an accusation. Did you hear that? Yeah, it was. This they came together. Let's find something about this. He distinguished himself. Set himself aside for God. And they began to search. What is it that we can find against this man? Carry on reading. Carry on reading. 
but they could find no reason for an accusation or evidence of corruption because he was faithful, a man of a high moral character and personal integrity and no negligence or corruption of any kind was found in him. Then these men said, we will not find any basis for an accusation against this Daniel unless we find something against him in connection with the law of his God. My God. Did you hear that? Amen. This integrity here was so high. My he distinguished himself and set himself as a and they check him. Batola. When they were checking, they Batola. realized that they can't get corruption. Our country is full of corruption. Corruption is everywhere. Corruption Even where you are working. This is the time now that you distinguished yourself. I don't know if you hear me. So that they found accusation by your God. When they want to get something, they find you praying. When they want to get something, they find you reading the Bible. When they want to get something, to accuse you, they don't find you robbing someone. I mean, what is the use of getting promotion wrongly? What is the use of getting Promotion wrongly. This is the time that you accept yourself. And God will make those who are against you to be defeated. All these people were against Daniel. You know where they end. If you are living a life of integrity, when they are busy trying to nail you down, they will dig a hole for you, but they will follow it. I don't know if you are hearing me. Integrity takes you far. This is the time now that you look at your life. You don't need anybody to tell you. You need the scriptures to tell you. They must find accusation. They must accuse you by your God. They must lie against you by your God. You know, I've seen here on YouTube, there are many people who are talking against Pastors, pastors that pastors. And I, I said, it's better when you're a child of God, you don't even talk. There are people who want to find something. It's better you preach. So, I, me, I decided to preach the scriptures. When you come here, I'll read the scripture for you so that you accuse me by the scriptures that I've read, that I've preached. I don't know if you're hearing me. Let me prophesy someone. I'm seeing your opposers. Falling by the trap, they have set against you. I'm seeing your opposers. This week, I say this week. When God is lifting you, when God is raising you, I see them falling by the trap that they have trapped you. If you are hearing me, say I'm hearing you. This is the time that. You don't need to be intimidated by the accusers because they are lying. They are trying to stop you with your God. They plan to stop Daniel. They plan to stop him. We found his prey. Let's make sure that he doesn't pray. But Daniel continued. When he was continuing, did you know that when he was praying, he was praying out of their 
He was praying out of their situations that they wanted to bring to him. Let me prophesy someone who is listening to me. I want to tell you, God wants to honor you the trouble that you went through when you were holding your integrity. He is about to pay you. He is about to pay you. He is about to pay you. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I feel like you people here, when things were tough and you were holding, you were giving up. When you were tough, it's tough you were holding. It was like it's over. 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 Christians who are saying what I'm facing. No one in my family can help me. I can rather hold on my integrity. I can 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 hold on my integrity. Let me show you this scripture. Romans 12 verse 2. It says, do not be conformed to this world. But be transformed and progressively changed. As you mature spiritually. But the renewing of your mind. Focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes so that you may prove so that you may prove for yourself what is the will of God. Don't look at the situation outside and reason it with your mind. You need to prove the will of God. It is time to prove the will of God that the will of God though you are in the dark the will of God will take you out of the darkness without you robbing anyone without you lying to anyone the will of God can open a door that has been closed that has been locked without you struggling just holding your integrity say it is only my God who will take me out it is only my God who will bring my promotion Hold on and prove what is right with my mind. I will set my mind according to the scripture, not to be conformed to the things of the world. I don't need a formula of the things of the world. I need to be transformed by the word of God and code the scripture because the scripture says and the head and the situation says you are the tail so I cannot use my mind to think about the tail I take what the scripture says because the scripture says and the head and when I say of the head I believe God is taking me to be the head if you believe say I hear you I hear you I hear you I hear you Get out from what people say and get unto the scripture. Don't reason the situation. It looks like it's over with you. But I'm here to tell you, hey, hold your integrity. The Lord is about to show. It's about to take you out. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Let me show you this scripture. In fact, when I'm preaching, I'm preaching here. I'm preaching here. I want to tell your enemy whatever you are looking at this person who's here in Charis is temporary. 
So, but when God no. wants this thing to come out, He allows a favorable situation to bombard you left and right, left and right. To, until you are left with your God. So, I'm left with God. My family is gone. I'm left with God. My family is gone. Nobody's on my side. God is on your side. I said, God is on your side. God is on your side. Integrity. My Integrity. There was a time where I told Mama, I said, We don't have money, but we are going to have it. We don't have food, but we are going to have it. That is integrity. Integrity tells you that you are still going to be promoted. Though there is no promotion, it tells you there is a life better that God wants to give you. Though it looks like it's over, like the road is cul de sac. But God is here. I see God opening a door for you. You. If you are hearing me say, hey, I'm hearing you, Pastor. Let me just read the scripture. Mm. Proverbs 13, verse 11. Wealth obtained by fraud dwindles. Proverbs 13, verse 11. But he who gathers gradually by honest labor Amen. Amen. will increase. Riches. Amen. Will increase in his riches. Amen. Hmm. Wealth. Le humo. Wealth. Le humo. Obtained by fraud. Le lito ala tzadi ngabu fura. Oh, dwindles. Oh, adilo jedi sing jona. It does like this. Le yagwane, le kwale, le yashwala lani. Someone is just getting a salary. Faithful. Small. Slowly. But surely. You know, your steps are calculated so slowly. But every step takes you to your breakthrough. Someone just be rich overnight. Probably. But that wealth that is where you know there are some people who are sleeping in a shack who have peace because of God there are others who are sleeping with mention they are even afraid to answer their calls they are afraid to answer their calls when the, when the phone rings, already their minds are changed. Because they know what they have done. I don't know if you are hearing I me. I can rather stay in one room house with peace than to mention what you have done. Why are you questioning? Because God, when I'm holding my integrity, surely he will take me there. But I go there slowly when I move forward it's permanent I won't go back I don't know if you are hearing some people jump steps if you jump your step you are bound to be taken back the steps you jump but there are those who feel the pain every step that God is taking them. They move, but they never go back. Slowly. Slowly. So, the day they are on top, they will never fall. The blessings of the Lord makes us rich. And then there's no sorrow. Can you pass your neighbor say, my neighbor? How is your integrity? Integrity is your life of promotion. Life of promotion. Life of wealth. Nice in every step. Nice. People can read your life. This person was sitting here. Nothing. 
a Cecilia. I see God remembering you. I see God remembering you. If you are here, say, I hear you. You know, I just want to tell you the people that I'm playing soccer with. I've been told them. I said, Oh, speaking something. I hold my integrity. Even when I'm kicked. Someone will say sorry. I don't want to hear you. Because maybe you are used by the devil to kick me. You might have been sent. Because the devil cannot find me anywhere. Except where I meet people. So I hold my integrity. Even where you are working. It's happening. Some people just come to hurt you. I don't know if you are hearing me. Yeah, I hold my integrity. I was telling Sosi he says ah, you hit the ball and he hit my stomach <laughs> and he says ah, but look at your age look at my age when you saw me you hit the ball to hit my stomach and I said to him that I said did you see that I didn't even touch there he say yes. I says I didn't hear anything. Because integrity tells you that. You know why? Why you respond? Because you don't have integrity. You always want to defend. So now you don't feel pain when you have got integrity. Someone hit you. You say you question what is that? Uh, the ball hit you. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay. But, but you don't have integrity. Now. Well, someone put you down. You you down. Why? 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 It just teaches you to live a holy life. It just teaches you to live a holy life. You can't fight. You can't do anything. You won't respond. You are stupid as well. That's integrity. You don't fight. So you don't fight. You don't fight. You can't 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 fight. You
Sometimes they are lion hidden in you. Or a cat. Sometimes there is a dog hidden on you. That, that when you are pressured, you will talk the whole night. The whole night you will talk. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. Don't listen. Yeah. Hey, when one day you finish the whole loaf of bread. Uh, today you, you finish 12,5 in five days. I don't even understand. Hey, why? Why? Hey, one day still looking at that. Hidden on you. Dem chache di fitai jinga ariari na. Wow. Sometimes the lion is hidden. Na kuche di weki trau. You just become angry. You make some noise. Ono batra ujano wia vopa. Yeah. Ava libu sa na. Are you not going to eat porridge tonight? Hey. No fura. No fura. I mean, now I'm fine. But you are so so hungry. <laughs> you are just swallowing saliva. There is food that is smelling so good. Now, because the lion is very angry inside, and he is now so so mighty inside you, you are just swallowing saliva. You are just swallowing saliva. Now, this is food is placed on top of the table. It's like you don't see it, but it, your heart is right there. You are troubling your own self. You are making yourself to suffer. I don't want to eat. I'm so full. Twelve <laughs> midnight. Twelve midnight. <laughs> when you are so so hungry Satan will come and say don't wake up be angry and you are said you are hungry wake up wake up and you look at the time 10 minutes 10 minutes Ten past twelve. Ten past twelve. You wake up, you get out of the bed. And you forget that you're not even. <laughs> and you become amazed carrying a pot. Not even wearing your pajamas. And you run back, you leave it there. I'm a demon in the manch. Hi, demon Sam. <laughs> Just to live an honest life. O pila o pila ve la ba. Kaba. Eat. Kaba be baru do kuat. Speaker, I'm angry. And I don't want to be angry. Speak it. Speak it out. These things has troubled me. Don't sit down and put them inside your heart. The devil will use those things and you will explode. When you explode, you will speak even things that you were not supposed to speak. Eh? You will even say, when I'm married... I'm married. When I married you, we're not like this no, now. No, no, because I'm married. You, that, you told me I'm angry. I'm ugly. Leave me alone. There is only small things that breaks our families. Let us speak. Speaking. Don't have pride. Talk. Yes. Job 27 from verse 1. If you are angry, speak. Don't speak by actions. Hey. Integrity is <laughs> your word again. When you are angry, you just keep quiet. You only shake your head. It's like you are seeing visions, whereas there is nothing you are looking at. 
And the other person will just be asking, what's happening? Sorry, my husband. Sorry, my wife. <laughs> Speak. Let's read verse Let's read. Job continued his discourse and said, as God lives who has taken away my right and denied me justice, and the Almighty who has caused bitterness and grief for my soul, as long as my life is within me and the breath of God is still in my nostrils, my lips will not speak unjustly, nor will my tongue utter deceit. Far be it from me that I should admit you and are right in your accusation against me. Until I die, I will not remove my integrity from me. Can you hear that? Amen. Uh, this man was ready. Don't read a job uh, when you are home, job 42. Job 42 how and see how God restored. Integrity My brings restoration. Integrity. My Not long I found that integrity breaks a curse. It just break a curse. Family. Amen. Because you know, like you have chosen to follow God. When now he tells you, Shall I not find you? So Satan has a wager. Your job was saying, What job on are you? You can't say I'm wrong. Okay, I will already keep push and I won't speak a deceit. And I'm gonna pull a level four. I know I'll speak the truth. Yeah, see if I give a little there will be nothing found in my mind. That's why Bible says job never seen by That's why Bible says job never seen by you. This is the time that even when things are tough, don't sin with your mouth. Don't sin with your mouth. This is the time that you change yourself. What is it that you say? Job says until I die, I will hold my integrity. Let us all stand. You know the life you are living. You are on and off. You can come forward here. And say, I want my life to be ruled by my Jesus. I want to accept the Lord now. And from today, when I pray this prayer, I will hold on to my integrity. This is my time. Come now. Come now. You are on and off. We are saying your integrity is questioned. Mercy, there was great and grace was free. Pardon, there was multiple light to me. There my very soul found me, but he had come. Amen.
That devil was using to make you to go forward and backward will be nullified. Pray with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you. I saw my mistakes. I have broken many things because my integrity was also broken. I couldn't stand in your way because I wasn't living right. I believed that I was doing right. But now I understand today that Lord, I was not standing where you want. My, my life to you today again in the name of Jesus accept me back let me live a life of integrity so that your love may be visible in my life thank you Lord Jesus for dying for my sins and thank you Heavenly Father for accepting me back again. I will do no wrong again. I will not fail you again. I will stand in your word forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. What the devil will do, he will bring the same thing to tempt you, overcome it. You will know that your life is changed when you start to see something that demands your response so that you respond wrongly. Overcome that. It's an obstacle that they will use to nail you to one place. Today you are in the family of God and you have overcome. Glory be to Jesus. Amen.